Yo! Uh, we got a shield damage. That's fine. Okay, it's not fine. I've got so many. I have got so many. So many universities and nothing so far. Well, very little. Actually, I say that. Six shield damage, four armor damage, three health damage. It's not too bad. Right now, that is going to boost our damage after all. We are going to get some more mana banks going. And zapping enemies. Zaps. Zaps for everyone. Yeah, so pretty much our universities are sort of done right now. We could boost them up to give them more chance, but that does cost money. And I'd rather get more obelisks going. Because all new obelisks still have the upgrades that you get from the universities. And that's that's where the universities come into their element. But all new towers just get those upgrades immediately once they're built. That's great. That is great to see. Okay, there's our boss. It's the Fallen Oogie. There he is. Be strong, my mangoes. No! Mangoes are not supposed to be strong. They're fruit. You fruit like in fruit guy. Fruit and stuff. I wonder, I wonder what his takes are on vegetables. Maybe we'll find out at some point. But at the moment, he's the Fallen Oogie. And he's here to have lots of shields and get disintegrated immediately. It's a good thing you're being protected, Oogie. Good thing you're being protected. But for how long will you be protected for? Not too much longer. Now I come the hell puppies. The teleport. The dead. Now it's just you. As your health dwindles away, fallen Oogie. You do have your fortification. However, it's not going to last long. And these can kill you. All right. Very nice, very nice indeed. Vile consumption. We'll take more vile consumption, thank you very much. And I guess we'll give them more uh, haste, I think. Sounds good to me. What else we got? We have... I'll take the fortification on that one. And this one has... Uh, Troll blood, okay. Uh, expunge, that's very good. Alright, moving onwards. Uh, we got a couple of shield damages, okay. We are sort of looking for armor though, game, but uh, cheers for the extra shield damage. I think we're, we're, are we up to eight now? We got two there in that one go. That's quite good. We've got a lot of armor. We've got a lot of shield damage now on our new obelisks. Uh, I want to pop you there, actually. There, that's, that's, that's a better option for you. That's a better option for you with your range. And where else would I like to put one? Let's get some mana banks going, though, just so we can... Utilize these new obelisks. So we're now in the final 10 levels of March of the Monsters. And at the moment, this run has been quite good, to be honest. It has been quite good so far, but I'm not going to say it's a definite one run. But it's, it's looking like there's a big possibility it could be. At the moment, we really haven't been tested. So far. Who knows? We may do at some point. But right now, we haven't really been tested. The obelisks and their pure power have just been able to extinguish everything so far. I'll just get rid of you guys. I have enough obelisks to deal with this with crowd control. You and you and you and you. You guys are left. Okay. Uh, expunge 2. Sounds good to me with crits. Uh, and then we get Exsanguinate. Okay. We have a very much a critical hit strategy. It is quite good. I will increase haste again. That could come back to bite me. It could do. Uh, I got... Yeah, I think I got one of everything there. We now have four health damage, six armor damage, and nine shield damage. That's quite good. Also, that was a boss and it died very quickly, by the way. Here comes another obelisk to say hello. And here is uh, another obelisk to say hello. And all these obelisks have those upgrades from the university. So do my ballistas, to be honest. But, uh, you know, they're ballistas. 
You know, we don't really use them too much. At all, for that matter. Fun fact, actually. My first ever victory on Rogue Tower. This is when I was just playing it off screen. Uh, uh, don't want any of those. I don't want any of those. Fine, we'll take Flamethrower. I don't want any of those, though. I want to boost my power a bit more with my Obelisks, and Flamethrowers aren't going to help. Um, yeah, my first ever victory uh, in Rogue Tower was a single defense, and it was actually a, a, an all ballista run. So yeah, that was that was very interesting. That nice to get an all ballista run there. But yeah, obelisks are just great. <laughs> I love obelisks. I think they're very much a sleeper a bill a sleeper weapon really. Yeah, now we're gonna get all of these. Right now we're just going to get upgrades for the bloody flamethrower now. Right, I'll boost my uh, max tower and... Do you know what? Now I think it's time for gold to drop. Let's keep going. Uh, six health damage, seven armor damage, and ten shield damage. And start putting uh, obelisks on high areas to give them even more range and power. Why not? And we're currently on level 38, so we're getting close. We're getting very close to the end. And at the moment, our man, our man is easily dealing with it right now. I mean, that's six of them going off at the same time, and it's dealing with it quite well. I do have loads more, obviously, but at the moment, they're dealing with it quite well. Ooh, that's missiles. They're quite fast. They're very fast. Okay. At least we can sort of slow them down. Can slow them down though. Right, so now with Fugal, we have pretty much negated one level of our banditry, apart from the bad aspect of banditry, which is still around, of course. Okay, everyone gets vaporized. I mean, look at this. We're, we're dealing with this quite well so far. We have a 50% crit chance. Oh, wow, I didn't even notice that. So when you get up to a certain amount, does it mean that you have a chance of doing like an uber critical hit? Because I saw, I see a times three there, when it should only be times two for critical hits. So there's like a, like, like a fatal hit or something, a grievous hit, if this was Swords and Sandals. Something like that. Okay, that's, that's fair enough. Okay, so we have a chance of doing like triple damage. That's alright, that's like, it's a 12% chance, but I'll take that. That's not bad. Uh, I'll take the fortification, I guess, and, uh, yeah, you can boost your speed, that's fine. We have slow, after all. Right, another obelisk goes there. Let me try and deal with those guys over there, and we'll get one there, too. See how my mana bank's gonna deal with it. I'm gonna be getting some more mana with my mana banks. It's all about getting the most out of your obelisks now. We have 12 shield damage, I've noticed. 9 health damage, 8 armor damage. And all my obelisk have those, let alone the upgrades I've put them on the uh, put on them manually. This is just all together. And every time we boost a level, or they level up, we get uh, an extra chance of a critical hit. I mean, there's already 50% chance already on a level 1. I'll take it in the fortification, why not? 32... HP on our tower now. You gotta try and get past that. Try it. Go ahead. We have missiles. Okay, they are getting quite close, to be fair. They are getting quite close, but we should be able to deal with them. Yep, good. Very good indeed. Your missiles don't stand a chance against my obelisks and my lasers of doom. With my 12 shield damage extra from the universities. Thank you, universities. Much appreciated. Okay. The closer we get, the more chance I... Th the more I think that we're going to win this. Because we're six away now. We are six away. Let's get Napalm and... Napalm, why not? Never going to be using it. Uh, shields, I guess. 15% more shields. I mean, yeah, that's a bit of a problem, but, you know, we should be okay. We have... 13 shield damage now. 11 health damage, 9 armor damage. We are fine at the moment. We are perfectly okay to deal with these bastards. Bring it on. Bring it on, level 40. Show me what you've got. I have the power of lasers. You don't. You've got missiles. 
Well played. Unfortunately, they are being disintegrated by my lasers. That is a lot of missiles. Okay, that is a lot of missiles and it's not really hitting anything else. That guy's just summoning loads of... Okay, this is a problem. This is a problem. Are the missiles gone now? Nope, they're still going. Okay. Alright, I don't want to know what you've got anymore. Level 40? Those missile monsters are bloody annoying. They just continuously keep summoning them. It's like that vampire oogie. Let's get a couple more obelisks going. We do need those. Get another one going as well. Get some more mana with mana banks. There we go. It doesn't really matter where we put them. That's not important. What is important is just what they do. There you go. 232. That should be enough to uh, sort that out. We were able to sort that out, luckily. Alright. Pyrochemistry. Might as well. Um, frugal. I don't really mind losing gold now. We were getting like 2,500 a turn from my uh, from my haunted houses. 2,500 gold a level. That's enough for like five mana banks. Quite good. Final five levels. We're getting closer and closer. I think very soon it'll be time to get another obelisk going. Almost. Almost there. There we go. Okay, another obelisk. Coming in. Do keep the ever-loving crap out of all these guys and the missiles. Probably always the missiles. Mostly the missiles. Definitely the missiles. Take them out. Take them all out. Okay, dealing with it a lot better now. In this run, at least. So far. They haven't really been incredibly annoying at the moment when it comes to the guys that summon the missiles. And we're slowly pushing them back. Okay, you were fortified, so you were going to take a lot longer to die. We are sort of pushing them back, though. There we go, pushing them back. Only the missiles are getting closer on that one. Okay, take that, all of you. Take that. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, up upgrades, I guess, for flamethrowers, even though I'm not going to be using them. Um, oh, yeah, shields. We'll go shields. Right, moving on. Not many to go now. Not many to go. 15 health damage, 11 armor damage, 14 shield damage. That's how damn good universities are. That's just how good they are. I don't even need to upgrade my obelisks. They're doing it for me. Right, let's get some more mana banks going because I feel like we're going to be spending on some obelisks very soon. Boosting up all of my mana. Okay, that'll do. Get another obelisk at some point. But we certainly have enough there with 300. 300 mana a second. And here comes very so Oh, they're getting way too close. Here comes another obelisk. It's those damn missiles again. It's those missiles again, just getting too close. Okay. How long are you going to last? Are you going to actually make it to my tower? Are you going to make it to my tower? The answer to that question is no. No, you're not. Yeah, I think, it's, I think it's because I put so much into uh, extra haste that that's probably where the issue's coming in. We're not slowing them enough. That's another obelisk for me, though. You're dead? Okay. Uh, yeah, crit chance for those towers. Unfortunately, it's not all towers, or that'd be great, good for, uh, that'd be great for us. Um, we'll go for health. Three levels to go, after all. You're next. Uh, chance for mana siphons, okay. What? Chance of like one? We really can't get that one? No, it doesn't seem we can actually get that one. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough! We can get that one though. Siphons away! Just a little bit of extra for that one there. 
Okay. 18 health damage, 11 shield, uh, 11 armor damage, 14 shield damage. It's quite good. That's a lot. We'll get another obelisk coming in. For domination. We'll open this treasure chest here. Uh, Broadhead bolts, why not? It's not like the blisters are going to be able to do much, really, is it? But here comes the attacks. And we are dealing with them at the moment. Look at that. By the time they come into this section, they're already bloody, they're, they're already really damaged. Very close before they even get, I mean, look how damaged they are. The majority of them are. They're incredibly damaged. They don't stand a chance. They really don't stand a chance right now. This is going well. This is going very well. We're getting to the penultimate level very shortly. There we go. Uh, I'll take... Jagged heads, I guess. More bleed damage, why not? Uh, and damage to shields. Uh, frugal, I'm fine with taking now. We've got two levels to go. Just two levels left. You first. Uh, what was that? 18, 11, 15. That's fine. That is okay by me. And here comes another obelisk. Yes, you have to deal with so many of them now. And our mana is dealing with them very well. Dealing with them incredibly well. In fact, once we get enough money, obviously with Frugal, that's going to be quite difficult to do. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll make it to uh, 7250 at some point. We'll get another Obelisk going. To battle... I'm, I, are, we against, are we going against Oogiehedron? I don't think we are. We're on a different sort of enemy path. So I'm not sure if we're actually going against Oogiehedron as the final boss. Okay, there, there's that. That's, that's quite a few. They're getting close. It's quite a few. They're getting close. Can they deal with it? The answer to that brilliant question is no. They can't right now. We have too many obelisks. We have too much damage over there. They can't handle it. They just can't handle it. This is very good. There you go. At the back over there now. Just you guys over there. You're fine, because there's still that choke point there. And we'll get another obelisk going, why not? You're dead. I'll take, like, white phosphorus and... Everything burns. Why not? Uh, you can have... Decrease monster slow. We'll do it just the once. Right, final level. Here we go. Do we have enough to deal with them? Well... That was a champion that just died. That was a champion that just perished there. And our boss is right up there. We do have to deal with at some point. An obelisk is coming along its way. There you go. 20, 20 health damage, 15, 15. We've got a lot of damage on our side. A lot of damage on our side. As the boss. It's not... Okay, so it's not... Um, it's not Oogiehedron. It's some sort of a bunch of missiles. I hate it already. I hate it already. I despise it already. Ah, sod. Don't like it. I don't like it. Go away. Please go away. Stop firing missiles at me. It's Invader Oogie. There he is. It's Invader Oogie. It's a... It's a... It's a thing. It's, uh, it's, well, it's an alien, obviously. Invader Oogie. We just need to hang on. Hang on against these damn missiles that Invader Oogie's firing at. Because eventually, Invader Oogie is going to be taking hits. Very soon. You're going to be taking hits yourself, my friend. Very, very shortly. Very shortly. There you go. Your health's starting to go down now. Look at it shred. There goes Invader Oogie. He's gone. We were able to save everything and we've won. We have won. Victory is ours against Invader Oogie. We have won the... Well, the March of the Monsters challenge. There we go. March of the Monsters challenge complete. Are there any credits in this game?
Now that's just the manual of all the all the enemies. There's nothing there. Guide? No. There are really no credits in this game. Oh, that's awkward. All right, guys. Well, that's it. That is Rogue Tower. The Let's Play Rogue Tower. This is a very enjoyable tower defense game. It is a very enjoyable tower defense game. Um, it's, you know, it's very RNG based, but then again, tower defenses usually are when it comes to that. And the fact that you forge your own path and then you can uh, you can upgrade your weapons and you can get like passive upgrades and then status afflictions it is really good and it's a load of fun. Um, and hell, if they do more challenges like March of the Monsters, then maybe. We will uh, bring this back for a reboot month or something. Who knows? Uh, to do those challenges. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it from this Let's Play of Let's Play Rogue Tower. I've been Mastrath, and I'll see you for my next Let's Play in the future. I'll see you then.